Hello, my name is Yasser and welcome to the second tutorial on motion capture using Fast Mockup. In this video, we will see how we can record a body animation using the software. So first thing you want to make sure is that your Kinect sensor is both plugged to your computer and to the power supply. Next, you have to position the Kinect correctly. So the Kinect should be at least two meters away from you and it should be put on some place that's around one meter high. It is also advised to put tight clothes for a better tracking quality. Heavy clothes tend to confuse the system. Also, you want to avoid any reflective surfaces in front of the sensor, like a reflective floor. And lastly, make sure you remove any big objects next to you, like a chair or a table. Once you launch the app, if your sensor is well detected, this light should turn green. Now, if you stand in front of the Kinect, you will already be able to see your body being tracked. Depending on the position where you put the Kinect, you might need to adjust the floor height using this slider so that your feet appear to be correctly standing on the floor. Fast Mocha provides an animation smoothing option. If you plan to do very slow animations, it is advised to crank up the animation smoothing value using this slider. If however you want to track fast body movements, the animation smoothing can be counterproductive, so try to lower it down a bit. Okay, now that we are ready, let's see how to record an animation. To record an animation, you simply click the record button. After a 5 seconds countdown, your animation will start being recorded and you should start acting. Once done, you can click the stop button to view the recorded animation. So hit the play button to play the animation. You can also scrub through the timeline like this to quickly view your animation. When you know the portion of the animation that you want to keep, you can use the cut button down here to cut off the unwanted parts. Now we can save the animation to a file. Let's name it uh, demo4. The file gets directly saved to the current project that we have right here. If you want to change the current project location, you can do it in a File, New Project, or you can open up a project if you already have uh, created one previously. What we need to do now is export the animation to other 3D applications like 3ds Max or Maya. To export an animation, you just click the Export button and choose the application you want. How to import an animation, however, differs from one app to another. So we have written tutorials on how to do the import process for each application on the tutorials page on our website. Please check it out. Thank you for watching.